Welcome to this week's Swarf and Chips. Oh my goodness, it's going to be a great show because we are here. It's the big one at Emo Hanover 2019 and we are exclusively on the Renishaw stand. Now, do you know who Renishaw are? Do you know much about their metrology solutions? And do you know about the additive manufacturing solutions? Because today we're going to find you all of the answers. I'm going to go over to Paul because I want to find out more about what's happening on the stand because we're here in front of the DMU 50. Hello, Paul. Um, you've got all of the Renishaw branding on the machine. So what's happening? So we recognize the importance of data in, in a manufacturing environment. And what Renish will do is make sure that the people on the shop floor have the data at the right place at the right time. We cannot afford to wait for a long time, delays getting data back from an inspection room. So what we have here is data coming directly from our tool setting systems and our spindle probing systems on the machine tool, providing the recent history of parts, whether they're good or bad. So obviously what the operator wants to see, lots of green lights here, it says all these parts have been good, recent history, you can carry on and look at the next machine. So are you telling me that you're probing the tooling, but also the part? Yes, indeed. Any, anything that requires a Renishaw system, whether it's measuring the tools, finding the part, measuring features that have been cut on the machine, all that data can be displayed here at the control panel. OK, data, data, data. It's a lot. It can kind of, sorry, but it does. It goes over your head. Yeah. So how's that going to benefit the end user for a financial gain or quickening up a process? So the acquisition of this data is absolutely key to looking to see what's happening in your factory on a day-to-day -day basis. We can now export this data to external systems and you can start to look for things like trends, frequent occurrences that allow you to improve the way that you do things on the shop floor. So you see as an example a trend, someone's doing something not correct over time and longevity, then you can correct it basically. Yes, in indeed. So on a batch to batch basis, the same thing may be happening again and again. Might not get being picked up by an individual operator, but by getting all this data from an external system, we can start to see these occurrences. Makes perfect sense. And that's just, we've just touched the surface of what you can um, uh, collect. Now, right, DMU 50, you've got the part on there, yep. but Paul, there's an equator over here. So let's go around here. Paul, talk me through the part that you've got on here and what the equator does, because for starters, it's sitting next to the machine. I've got a machine shop. Yep. Is, does this move? Uh, tell so me about it. An equator is a shop floor a gauging system that's used to validate the, the output of a machining process. So it's either verification of the features you've just produced. It can be used for process control. It's a very flexible system, so you can reprogram it for different parts and move it around the factory to where you may have a quality issue. Uh, you just simply reprogram it for the new part that you're, you're using, and it's a, a very flexible device. So in short, can you tell me some of the benefits that someone will receive when they purchase one of these? Well, again, it gives instant uh, information and data at the point of manufacture. As I said, you cannot wait several hours for, for data to come back from a quality room. This is by the point of manufacture, the operators can see what's happening, and if something starts to drift in the process, they can make a change straight away. Exactly, and it's, it, it's instant, isn't it, saving time. Now, in the corner of my eye, I can actually see a really big equator. Yeah. So in a moment, I'm going to go over there. But, but why Renishaw? Why is Renishaw so important to the manufacturing industry? Well, for a number of reasons. Firstly, the, the breadth of technologies that Renishaw can offer a manufacturer are unique, from machine setup, machine calibration, spindle probes for finding the part, setting up the machine, setting up tooling, then controlling the process throughout the day, and our final systems used for part verification on CMMs. So we recognize the need to make measurements throughout the manufacturing process, not just at the end. But probably more importantly, we're a, we're a manufacturer ourselves. We face the same challenges as our customers. We have to improve our productivity. We have to minimize our costs. We're a manufacturer in the UK. How can we be globally competitive? So we've integrated our technologies in our own factories and seen great benefits for many years. And in that process and that journey, we, we've learned a lot about using our own products and that experience we can share with our customers. Yeah, oh, it's so interesting. I can't wait to see more on the stand. Right, I'm going to go over to that equator and I'll see you a little bit later on. So, this uh, that equator was called the Equator 300. This is the Equator 500. Now, this is an aerospace part um, on here, quite heavy. And... Um, also, what we, we talk about a lot at the show is automation. And even, if you think about it, it's not just the machines that are automating, it's the equator too. So for me, the metrology aspect uh, is so important in the process, but I'm trying to unearth uh, you know, how things are evolving and why it's becoming even more integral in manufacturing. I'm with Tarquin now. Um, Tarquin, let's talk about, let's take um, an, an industry, for example, the automotive industry. Why is the metrology aspect becoming even more important in the process? Well, as we're seeing automotive manufacturers 
evolve from internal combustion engines through to hybrid drivetrains and more electric motor technology. We're seeing shorter product life cycles and new requirements for manufacturing processes, such as higher accuracy for key parts that have an influence on, for example, the noise of drivetrains, which become more and more important as engines become quieter or non-existent and motors replace uh, those sources of, of, of power. Uh, that, that, that's a classic example, actually. OK, because for me, when I look at a lot of the stuff that, that we do with Swarf and Chips is talking about taking components and making them as quickly as possible. And we often overlook then that when the part comes off the machine, there is that other process, potentially, if you're not doing it in, uh, in cycle, to measure the component. In your opinion, uh, how overlooked is it for you? Do you think people focus too much on getting the components off of the machine or the product out without the metro thinking how quick they can actually do the metrology area? Well, I hope that anybody visiting us here at EMO can see the importance that Redishaw places on capturing the, the data that's critical to controlling a process, capturing that at the right place at the right time, making it actionable and available at the right time. So as um, product life cycles become increasingly compressed as, as uh, technology evolves at a faster, faster pace. These manufacturing processes have got to keep up with that. So systems and approaches that allow us to get the data required through uh, pre-production processes, then straight into production um, in a convenient, easy to use manner. Again, getting that data where it's needed in order to control the process is really metrology's role today and into the future. Because for me, I remember being on the shop floor, machining a part, having my uh, vernier caliper, my, my micrometer, and actually measuring the part and then taking that information, putting it into the machine to change, to, to take another cut. That's all different now, isn't it? Well, surely, we've, yes, we've, we've got all sorts of challenges around levels of skills and availability, uh, but particularly also automation and the, and the process by which we go from pre-production to pr production increasingly quickly, um, and then the life cycle of the part being made, uh, uh, being compressed and compressed. So uh, looking at how we can automate to address some of those skills shortage requirements, but also the, the route and the time to market uh, demands today, absolutely critical. Continuing the theme of automotive on the Renishaw stand, now Paul, quite interestingly you've got some automotive parts here, the Revo 5 axis head. I, I want to challenge you a little bit here because I, I think when you look at measurement, I was at one of your customers in the north, they were having a fantastic part that they were machining for the Formula One side and they couldn't measure it on the, on the, on the probe that they had. So you sold them the Revo 5 axis head. Now, what I want to say about this is that you're not just there selling through a system integrators, but you're also there for the smaller customer. Yeah, indeed. Uh, Renishaw as a company are more and more end user focused and we work with our customers to help them to meet their measurement challenges. And in that instance you talked about, what we've done there is taking a conventional CMM frame and we've retrofitted our Revo 5 axis uh, probing system, which has enabled them to measure parts much more quickly. It gives them much more flexibility in measurement to access those complex features. And with the Revo system, not only increasing the, the throughput, the, the uh, use of multi-sensor technology. So it's not just your contact scanning, we also have surface finish probes, we have video camera probes, we have fringe probes, which are our latest product here at Emo, which projects onto the surface and gets the 3D surface map very quickly. So that multi-sensor technology allows our users to make all their measurements on one single device. So it's removing the number of discrete devices they need on the shop floor. And then uh, also it allows them to increase the throughput, make more measurements on the parts and reduce the quality of blind spots. So it's not just about chasing microns. It's not just by buying the best uh, machine tools available and getting the speed. Also, you're chasing that through the metrology path, aren't you? Yeah, indeed. So the rental technology applied to both automotive, as in here in aerospace, as well as manufacturers to manufacture even ever more increasingly tight tolerances. Over to Lindsay. So earlier we saw this part on the Equator 500 and we're already building confidence as part of the production process. This is the next stage and this part is over here with Paul on the Chiron machine. So talk us through this process. Okay, Lindsay, what we've got here is a very complex five axis machining process for an aerospace part. Now these parts are normally very high value. So Renshaw offers solutions that can guarantee every attribute on the machine is controlled. 
So we start off with our sprint scanning probe, which is able to feed back X, Y, Z data as a constant stream. We use that for a machine health check. So before we even start cutting the material, we'll make sure the machine is performing as we would ex expect. We then use the same probe to check out the machine kinematics. So if you're in the, the, the art of five axis machining, you need to know a number of fundamental things. The machine kinematics, the pivot points of the rotary axis, where the part is and where the tool tip is. Once you know those, those critical positions on the machine, the five axis commands then guarantee uh, accurate machining. So this one Renishaw probe is used for all these applications for setting up the machine, ensuring the machine kinematics are okay. We find the part on the machine so we locate its position. Then we take semi-finishing cuts with the tooling which has been measured on a Renishaw tool setter. Make a measurement with our scanning probe so we scan that whole surface and we're able to update the machining process, the tool offsets, to give us the highest confidence that the part quality will be very good. Does this vary on different machines? Because, I mean, you work with all the machine tool companies, or most of them. So does it vary on each machine? Well, fundamentally, five-axis machines present a unique challenge in that uh, in the old days of three-axis machines, you could change a tool offset, a work offset, and get away with it. If you get the wrong thing updated on a five-axis machine, you start tying yourself up in knots. So Renishaw really helps people to, to get through this, this tricky and the complexities of five-axis machining. And you work really, really closely with the end user as well, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. So a lot of uh, the, these techniques that you see here are through our very close association with our end users in both automotive aerospace industries using these complex machines. This isn't the finished part though, is it? Because it, you know, there's different industries which require the next level. So what, what's the next level? Okay, so the part's been machined, but we cannot certify the part on the machine. Yep. So some industries mandate that we have to take the, the part to a coordinate measuring machine. Right. So, perfect timing, the coordinate measuring machine. Now, talk me through this then, please. So here we're using our uh, Revo 5-axis system. So it's a, um, a system that sits on either uh, a conventional CMM like this, which allows us to measure parts very quickly through the fact that we're using the head to make most of the measurements and it makes them very quickly. So when we first launched Revo a number of years ago, it offered unprecedented speeds in uh, which we can scan parts and acquire data. But since then, we've added more and more sensor types. So some features on parts require a different sensor. So we've introduced a video camera probe, we've introduced a surface finish probe, and our latest probe here is a fringe projection probe for capturing 3D point data very quickly. What this means to our customers is not only can they get the speed throughput, but all the features on these parts are measured on a single device. So you no longer have separate devices on the shop floor, you can combine dimensional measurement, scanning of surfaces, uh, surface finish measurement, and you saw our video probes and our fringe projection probe to capture 3D data all in a single system. So with all of this production and technology, this is going to collate a lot of data. Now, how does the customer benefit from that and do they have access to this? Okay, so up to now, the customers always use the data at the machine. But now we've introduced the systems and to take it away and look at it and look across their whole manufacturing operations to continue to improve the things they do. So what, you know, give me an example of how it will benefit them. Well, for example, every measurement you've seen in a manufacturing process from machine setup, tool setup, part measurement, all those pieces of information can be all pulled together to give you traceability in the history of the part as it's gone through the factory. Yeah, traceability is so important these days. Yes. It's a fascinating journey around your stand here at EMO, but what's interesting, you've got a lot of product, a lot of solution, but you've got a lot of data. Where, where do you put it? So, new for uh, 20, um, 2020, we're going to be coming out with Renishaw Central, uh, which is a platform that we developed that gives uh, an ease of connectivity to all of the Renishaw manufacturing and metrology equipment that we've got. Um, from that, we're able to create dashboards that show what the machines are doing now, what your productivity is, um, various sensor information, temperature information, things that are affecting both your metrology and manufacturing processes on a day-to-day -day basis. So, you, you, you got this data, obviously it's going to be available next year, but with the journey of actually developing this, looking at the data, what have you learned as Renishaw to benefit your customer? So as part of our journey, we've been manufacturing our own products for, for many, many years. And as part of our journey, when we engineer products, we consider very hard up front, what data do we actually want to collect when we're manufacturing and measuring those products that's going to help us to understand how we can make them better in the future. So it's not just telling you when something's gone wrong, but being able to help you to understand what do I need to do to make it better. Fascinating journey, and obviously it's benefiting yourself and your customer. Now, 
One thing I should say to you is that Renishaw are not just about metrology solutions. Lindsay is over at the additive manufacturing stand to learn a little bit more. We've just discussed a lot of the core services and products that Renishaw provide, but we're over on their other stand and we're going to be discussing additive manufacturing, also known as 3D metal printing. Stephen, why have they chosen to go into this area? Well, if you think about Renishaw, its footprint is in industry and metrology forms part of measuring any product that's manufactured. Renishaw saw that a new product like metal 3D printing could create components that couldn't be made conventionally but also needed to be measured. So it fits really well with the way Renishaw's philosophy runs. Yeah, and a lot of your customers will have a, a solution that they need providing for and you're capable of doing that behind such a major brand. Now, can you just explain this technology? Because not everyone who's watching is going to understand. It starts with 3D CAD. Engineering companies use 3D CAD all the time now. But when we've created that CAD image, our machine can take it straight to the machine. We slice it into layers. We melt metal powder back to it to make a solid form. It's as simple as that. But then it has to go to the next process. And again, as we said before, Renishaw fits in with that, with the measurement and everything like that that runs along with it. One question. Yes. People will question rigidity. Is it as strong as subtractive machinery, uh, machining? They're going to ask the question. We always get that question. How does this technology deliver similar to conventional subtractive manufacturing? We can show that we can meet the UTSs, the yield trends, fatigue data that runs alongside conventional ways of manufacturing. It is no different. It's just a new technology, new benefits to industry. Perfect. Thanks, Steve. Now over to Mark, who has a really good case study. 3D printing equals design freedom. Now this is a fantastic case study. Now Atherton built this bike very bespoke for every customer. Now Renishaw with their additive manufacturing process have really helped these guys because these lugs here I should say they are really important. They're holding the bike and the frame together. Now Stephen what I'm really interested to know is how did you do this for this customer? It just so happens Mark I've got the whole bike here on a build platform. This is talking about mass customization. When we talk about AM for design freedom, imagine wanting your own personalised mountain bike. You can come in, be measured, and all the bike can be built on one platform in one build. That's the ideal of customisation and AM design freedom. And that's interesting from Renishaw as well. You're not just selling machines, but you're also helping with processes with customers, aren't you? Exactly. We have to help educate our users for this technology. It's so new, so new to the market, that we have to help these people understand how you can use this technology, harness it to its best. That's what we're really here to do at Renishaw. So there's a scene with Renishaw, you're always collecting data. What are you doing with the data from additive manufacturing? Well, if you think about additive manufacturing, we have our process monitoring software. All the data that goes through a build is captured, put into Renishaw Central. From there, we can create a pattern or a DNA of how the machine works. There, we can understand how it works. We can also use that to track build after build after build. So Infinium AM, Infinium Central, they all fit within this technology for Industry 4.0. And I suppose it goes full circle with the metrology side of your business, obviously collecting that data. Obviously, a case study like Atherton is perfect, isn't it? Exactly. You know, we're printing the same part, but slightly different every time. So we can track that trend of how it's performing. Wow, what a show, learning all about your metrology, but also the additive manufacturing from Renishaw. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, Mark, what are you doing? You're not going to ride home on this. Well, Renishaw said I could take the bike back. But I've got to say... When you look at the collaboration between Atherton and Renishaw, additive manufacturing, it just shows you the partnerships are really, really, really strong. Yeah, you know Rachel Atherton is the most successful female British mountain biker of all time and she's recently won the World Cup riding this. Give me a fact that you've learned today, <laughs> other than that. No. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching this week's Swarf and Chips. Please put your comments in the boxes below and get in touch with Renishaw. Yeah, you've seen an insight into Renishaw. They can help you with your manufacturing processes, so contact them today. Yeah. And what do we always say, Mark? Keep, Keep those, those spindles, spindles turning. turning.